Hey VC, I'm back with another video. This is a video response to Rockboy 680's uh, 1000 subscriber contest. Just want to give a shout out to Rockboy. Congratulations on the 1000 subs. That's a big accomplishment. I just can't even imagine what it's like. I mean, I have like 250 subscribers and I appreciate every one, but a thousand that just like blows my mind. But anyway, congratulations. You really deserve it. Uh, anybody that's watching that hasn't seen his channel or checked it out, go subscribe to him. I'll leave his link down below. Uh, definitely go watch some of his videos. He's got a great collection and he shows some awesome records. So yeah, uh, so for the contest, he asked us to pick a decade, the 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s, and show our favorite album from each year of that decade. So I picked the 80s. So we'll get right into this. 1980, I picked Def Leppard, On Through the Night. This is their debut album and it's fantastic. Um, got a lot of great songs on here. Uh, Rock Brigade, Hello America, When the Walls Came Tumbling Down, that's one of my favorite Def Leppard songs. Uh, this is just a really hard rock album before they turned into a poppy band later on in their career. I still like them when they went on to that, but this is a real uh, good album. Next up, 1981. Uh, this album wasn't released in the U.S. till 83 but I consider this the original release, so I'm showing it as 81. It is the German career version of Dokken Breaking the Chains. Uh, usually you'll see this and it says Don Dokken instead of Dokken, but this is the one that says Dokken. I have both the copies, the one that says Don Dokken in this one, but I'll save that for my Dokken uh, record collection video. Like I said, on the career German label, I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Uh, the songs on the 83 version, instead of We're Illegal as the song title, it's called Live to Rock, Rock to Live. And Paris on here is the studio version of Paris is Burning, which is the live version on the U.S. release. So I'm sure you know that, but it's pretty cool. Uh, 1982, Scorpion's Blackout. There's not a whole lot I can say about this album other than it's fantastic. Uh, it's got my favorite Scorpion song on here, No One Like You. It's my all-time favorite song by them. And I was lucky enough to get this signed by Herman Rarebell and Francis Buchholz last year when I saw them with Michael Schenker. It was great to meet them. 1983, we got Sabotage Sirens. This is just a awesome album. It's Sabotage's debut album, and it's fantastic. Uh, got, of course, Sirens, Holocaust, uh, I Believe, Out on the Streets, which is my favorite Sabotage song. Uh, just an, a fantastic album. If you've never heard of Sabotage, you're really missing out because they are awesome. 1984, we got Legs Diamond out on bail. Legs Diamond is one of my favorite bands. And this is an outstanding album. Got songs out on bail, Fugitive Walk Away. Uh, and this one is pretty cool. It's signed by the whole band on the back. I was really happy to pick that up on eBay. When I saw the auction, I sat there and watched it for hours <laughs> to make sure I won this because I was not going to let this go. 1985, we got Dokken, Under Lock and Key. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can say about this album other than this is my favorite Dokken album of all time. I think this was their favorite, their best album they released. Um, it's got songs like The Hunter and My Dreams, Lightning Strikes Again, It's Not Love, uh, Don't Lie to Me, Will the Sun Rise. Just, they're all great songs on this album. And this one's signed by the whole band, so that's really cool. 1986, we got Cinderella Night Songs. Uh, Night Songs, Shake Me, Nobody's Fool, Somebody Save Me, a lot of great songs on there. 1987, we got Dokken Back for the Attack. You can probably tell I'm a huge Dokken fan because I've showed three of their albums. Uh, this is the last one, just fair warning. It's got a lot of great songs on this. It's amazing they stuck so many songs on this album. Uh, it's got Dream Warriors, which is the title track to the movie. Nightmare on Elm Street movie, uh, Stop Fighting Love, Burning Like a Flame, So Many Tears, Mr. Scary, which is George's solo, which is outstanding, Heaven Sent, Stand in the Shadows, uh, Night by Night, Prisoner, Kiss of Death, this, every song on this album is great. Um, it's my second favorite Dokken album behind Under Lock and Key. I just love that one more. And that one's signed by George Lynch. I got it signed whenever I saw him last year. The 1988, I don't have this album on vinyl, uh, unfortunately. It's pretty pricey to pick up a copy, but I will eventually own it. I'll shell out the cash to get it. I've seen it on eBay a couple times for a decent amount, but I just didn't have money at the time. Uh, but it's Queen's Rights Operation Mind Crime. 
I do have it on cassette. Uh, this is just an outstanding album. It's a conceptual album. Uh, it like it makes you feel like you're watching a movie or kind of at a play or something, just watching a live performance. And it's just got a lot of great songs on there, and I just love it. And then 1989, the last album I'm going to show is White Snake, Slip of the Tongue. This is my favorite White Snake album because it has Steve Vai on it. A lot of people don't like Steve Vai's time with White Snake, but I love it. He's an outstanding guitarist, so I just love his stuff he did with White Snake. Got a lot of good songs, Slip of the Tongue, Cheap and Nasty, Fool for You Love, and Now You're Gone, uh, Deeper the Love, which is one of my favorite songs, and Judgment Day, and Sailing Ships, which is outstanding. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Uh, go check out Rock Boy's channel, and yeah.